So when I asked um, what was so special about Miss France this year, that's what I asked the Miss Universe people when I met them in New York. I said, what out of a hundred and I don't know how many ever countries, what made France stand out? And the response that I got back is that the coordinators, so the countries are divided into small groups when you're participating at the pageant, and each group has a coordinator that looks after, say, four or five girls. So what I got the feedback was that the coordinators, right across through the entire Miss Universe organization, absolutely loved Miss France, even before she came in front of any judging panel, because she had a warmth and a sincerity that wasn't put on, it wasn't fake, it wasn't, you know, sort of made up. She was not a textbook beauty queen, you know. She wasn't saying the right things and dressing the right way and, you know. So she was genuinely warm and she was genuine and that's the most important thing. So I think for us today, a lot of the times the girls have watched so many past um, contests. Sushmita's, Aishwarya's, Diana's, Priyanka's, mine. You know, that they come with a mindset that oh, I must stand like this and I must speak like this, you know, and I must walk like that. And it honestly, for me, when I see that, it negates the possibility of how much I can do with the girl right there. Because I'd rather have a clean slate that I can start a fresh with, you know, and make you understand the fact that being a beauty queen or being a Miss Diva goes so much more beyond just the way that you present yourself when the cameras are rolling or when the judges are sitting in front of you. You know, what is it that you are like as a person? So those are the things that we work on, to instill a sense of confidence in themselves within the girls. The girls are very, very young. A lot of them don't have a lot of exposure. They come from small towns. So how do you give them a worldwide view? How do you give them the confidence and the courage to stand up and actually say something that may be controversial, may be something that's not aligned with the majority way that the masses think? You know, how do you give someone that young the confidence to be able to do that? So those are the things that go into the training process. Those are the, those are the most important things. Apart from that, yes, we're teaching you to walk in heels, we're teaching you how to, you know, to converse, how to style yourself, how to dress, how to be presentable. Um, but it goes so much, that's why I was saying that finally at the end of the day, these girls will take something that will last them a lifetime, far beyond what they will do at a contest. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you're looking really pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I just want to ask you one question. Uh, what do you think that apart from grooming and, uh, you know, giving them the voice that you're going to do for them? I can't give them the voice. <laughs> I can only help. Huh. Okay. What do you think actually makes uh, a diva in the truest sense? That's what I said. That is, for me, the truest essence of a diva is exactly that. It's somebody who's totally and completely unapologetic and unafraid to be okay. herself. That is a diva. Doesn't matter if she's a diva who's winning with a crown on her head or not. You are a diva to me in my eyes if that is who you are. If you own who you are. To me, that is a diva. Thank you. It reminds me of my journey. All I'd like to say is that uh, this moment will always remain very special in my heart. And uh, as they say that, you know, superheroes wear cape. There are a lot of superheroes which, uh, who wear uh, heels and crown as well. So the moment I won my Miss Universe India, crown i became a superhero okay. i just like to wish all the girls all the very best you know participating in a beauty pageant is just like participating in any kind of sports activity so you are sports you know being confident under pressure as well so that's what you learn from beauty pageants so i just like to wish all of them all the very best challenges i was facing at my time was uh, well, the challenges for everybody but i'm just so thankful that uh, that i'm just so grateful to god to everybody who has supported me throughout every single thing that i won miss universe india twice so yeah it's, it's a great honor for me I have been with Yamaha for 4 years and every year is very exciting for me. This is the most exciting time actually, which is the start of the contest every year. 
क्योंकि मुझे एक पूरी नई बैच मिलती है नई लड़कियाँ मिलती हैं जिसे मैं ग्रूम और ट्रेन करती हूँ और जैसे आपने कहा बहुत सारे मेमोरीज़ वापस आ जाते हैं क्योंकि सत्रह साल पहले मैं उन्हीं की जैसे थी थोड़ी सी मेरे पास थोड़ा सा एक्सपीरियंस था क्योंकि मैं मॉडल रह चुकी थी लेकिन फिर भी जो पैजेंट की जो दुनिया है वो बहुत अलग है और अगर आपको एक मौका मिले कि आप मिस इंडिया जीते या मिस यूनिवर्स बने तो आपकी पूरी ज़िंदगी बदल जाती है तो आज जिस जब मैं इन लड़कियों को सुनती हूँ उनके एक्सपीरियंसिस को सुनती हूँ तो बहुत सारी ऐसी चीज़ें याद आ जाती हैं जहाँ पर मैं भी बहुत नर्विस थी कुछ चीज़ों के बारे में पता ही नहीं चला था तब उस वक्त But you learn as you go along, and it's an incredible journey. Um, it's a big responsibility being a mentor, and you heard today you've had a lot of uh, information that's been made available about the contest. Um, I've always said that for me, it's a big social responsibility because I have a lot of young women who look up to me, who emulate me. You know, who always say we want to be just like you. Uh, that's a huge responsibility to have. Uh, but like I said, I always try and impart as much as I can to them in as little as a time as I'm allowed.